One of Jeremy's employees should really clean this stuff up. What a mess. Just realized I'm covered in dog hair. Nice little trick for that. Get the tape, wrap it around your fingers, and you can go like this. Oh, that didn't work so well. What's up, haters? Today I'm gonna to be using Python to cheat at fantasy hockey. If you're anything like how I used to be, you don't have a clue how fantasy hockey works. And with so many options like DraftKings, FanDuel, Sportsnet, Yahoo, where do you start? If you've never played fantasy hockey before, the basic premise is that you build a lineup and compete against other players. Different platforms have different scoring rules and different ways you can draft your team. I'm gonna be using Sportsnet Fantasy Hockey for this video because it's free to play. And the first fantasy hockey experience that I ever used was the Sportsnet Fantasy Playoffs. You enter a new lineup for each round of the playoffs. There's prizes at the end of each round and the winner of it all gets like a new truck or something. So it's kind of fun to play and you don't have to put down any money. Cut that out. Basically how the Sportsnet Fantasy Hockey Playoffs works is you pick three forwards, two defense, and a goalie from both the East and the Western Conference. An important thing to note is that for this year, the goalies don't matter. It doesn't matter if you pick, well, they do matter, but it doesn't matter if you pick a backup or the starter, you're gonna get points either way. So basically you're just picking whatever team you think is gonna win the most or get a shutout. Before you could end up picking up a backup goalie and you're screwed because you didn't. they didn't even play, so you can't get any points. The scoring system is three points for a goal, two points for an assist, and for a goalie, four points for a win, two points for a shutout. So a total of six points if they win and get a shutout. Another thing that I should probably mention is that the Sportsnet site assigns a player value to each player, one through four and you're only allowed 30 in total. McDavid is worth like four points, McKinnon four points, whereas someone that's not worth quite as much can go all the way down to one point. All right, so now that we know how the scoring system works, we need to get data from somewhere. There's a couple sites that I found that do fantasy stats, which I think I'm gonna use because they're a bit easier to access. I'm gonna be using the CBS Sports Fantasy Hockey website because they have this nifty little feature that lets you get the rest of season projected stats for each player. And I think that's gonna be the best representation of how our players are gonna perform in the playoffs. Once I figured out that I'm gonna use the CBS Sports website, I needed to find a way to gather that data so I can use it in Python because they don't have an API to pull raw JSON or like a CSV file of all of the players. So I have to create that myself. So to construct this ultimate lineup, I decided I'm gonna use Jupyter Notebook. Yeah, it's Jupyter Notebook. If you haven't heard of Jupyter Notebook, it's basically just a tool to be able to run Python scripts and import data easily. Yeah. <laughs> First thing I had to do was parse the HTML from the CBS Sports website to gather all the player data. Once that was done, I just had to add it to a data frame and I was good to go. Once I got the player data imported, I had to figure out how I wanna decide what players are better and that's where VORP comes in. What, VORP? Yeah, I know, right? VORP stands for Value Over Replacement Player. To demonstrate this, say you have two star players and two replacement players, one from forward, one from deep. You take John Tavares, who's projected for 375 points, versus Brent Burns, who's projected for 360 points. You look at their replacement players, David Krejci is projected for 290 points, whereas Justin Falk is projected for 250 points. Initially, you might think that John Tavares is the clear one to pick here because he's projected for the most points, but when you look at the difference in value between a replacement player and the star player, Brent Burns is actually the better player for fantasy picks. Once I found the algorithm for VORP, I just created this simple function so that I can use it later. Now, in order to make sure I can actually use this lineup in Sportsnet, I needed to import the player value somehow. So I went to the Sportsnet Fantasy Hockey site, inspected the page, and started writing some JavaScript to parse out the player values for each player. Once I was done making a script that outputs the name and value of each player, I created a CSV and imported it into Jupyter Notebook. Once I got our player values imported into a data frame, all I had to do was connect them with our existing player data and split them up into forward, defense, and for each conference. hours of tweaking the script, I finally got it so I'd have a separate list for Eastern forwards, defense, and Western forwards and Western defense. Then all I had to do was take the top three forwards, top two defense from each division, and I had a lineup. The only problem is the lineup has no goalies. That's okay, we can figure this out. I just need to tweak the script so that it gives me a total player value of 22 instead of 30, and that should free up enough space so that I can pick the top two goalies from each division, because they're each worth four. All right, this is it. I'm finally done writing the script. 
I'm about to generate the final lineup. Let's get Jeremy over here to see his reaction. Jeremy, come check this out. What do you think? The value over replacement player is pretty good. Pick value. Let's say a uh, pretty fancy script there. It measures VORP and goals and assists, but there's one thing that your Python script can't measure, Hayden. And that's heart and soul. Determination, how bad a player wants to win the Stanley Cup. What happened last year, their consistency, their heart, how much they want to win. Yeah, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to use this. <coughs> so what do you guys think? Do you think my numbers will outdo Jeremy's heart and hustle, or will I be forced to deal with his gloating for the next month? <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe to find out.